So last time we were looking at a budget yet very powerful laptop, comment down if you don't agree, the Asus FX550i that has 4GB of RAM which is upgradable, an interesting RX 460 and the price. I bought mine just for 35 gb in my country so that's paying for a beast using a peanut. And so for today I'm gonna unbox and review this laptop which is double the price of the Asus FX550i, the Asus GL55GVD model DM5960. So we are gonna start the unboxing and the review of this Asus Asus Trix GL55 GVD model DM5960. So this is how the box looks from the outside, and after you open it, you can see the laptop and. It's right in front, so let's open this um, wrap. So it will be difficult because I'm just holding it one hand because my other hand is is holding the camera. So first impression, it's uh, another his unit is um, brushed, finished. You can see the logo there, and on the left box you can see the cord, and on the right side, um, the brick if you like and on the center um, you'll get you'll get some screws yes and no manuals I guess for my unit there will be no manuals So you can see some informations there, the logo, and a keyboard. The streaks. So this laptop has a beautiful brush. Um, metallic-like design. Um, so on the left side, you'll see some. Points. On the right side, status indicators, and below there's a um, SD card slot. Unfortunately, the power button is with a keyboard, so we'll deal with it. So here's for the viewing angles. So the viewing angles are above average for me. Hmm. Again, my camera is kind of not good at taking these angles. Um, it gives a negative feel like. So for the colors of the keyboard, so you'll get an RGB um, customized. You can customize this on the settings and as for me, as for my case, um, I like green so I put it in green. So we got a Core i7, 7th generation of course, and NVIDIA 1050, not the TI unfortunately. So this laptop also includes a free um, ROG um, bag for your laptop, and, it, and it's well designed for use for your laptop when carrying it around. So this is how the inside looks and it feels um, sturdy so that's it for the review final thoughts so actually it depends on you whether to buy it or not ask yourself if you need it or not is it okay what you're looking for or just because the graphics card is powerful so there is another variant which is a 1050 ti i'm um, just go for that because 1050 is powerful yet 1050 ti is very powerful and more powerful so it depends on you whether you will or you will pick one of those you will never regret so there is another um laptop um a gaming laptop um 
the name is Acer VX15 and it got um, the same specs um, but cheaper price so I'll recommend that too but I'll also recommend this um, the same thing but it all actually depends on you whether you're a gamer or just um, editor so this laptop works either way so that's it as for the pros and cons um, for the pros um, the design um, the graphics card which is powerful and the 7th generation um, i7 and and the buckley keyboard um, which is um, very handy these days as for the cons um, this is really not a big deal um, for you I guess but for me it's um, kind of a big deal so the problem is that the power button is in the keyboard but um, I guess it's alright but sometimes um, I miss touch it and it causes me to turn off the laptop but I wish they put it in another place where it's easy to locate and easy to press um, because if you put it on the keyboard you'll end up miss touching it or that's it that's what I mean so I guess you understand it so that's it for the pros and cons. So that's it and this is active now and hit like if you like the video, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, comment if you have questions and thanks for watching.